son. Is it on? It oh, is. I'm on. Oh, you I'm are on. on. I'm charged you, up right you, now. You were. You must have had one of those great funnel cakes. <laughs> My batteries have been recharging all day long, Lenny. I'm ready to go. Hot it, laps are underway here tonight. It's uh, it's exciting. Yeah, dirt track, dirt draft, hot laps here at All Tech Raceway, and uh, the great folks from Dirt Draft. If you haven't participated, download the Dirt Draft app and get involved. It's a fun way to do things. And you could do a lot of interacting with a lot of people all across the racing world. Uh, I mean, we certainly uh, we have our own Dirt Draft League as a part of Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series. But beyond just us, there is uh, Dirt Draft in virtually any of the racing series that uh, you would probably be interested in. So nice uh, run there for Mills to be the quickest of that bunch. We'll have some more cars coming out. All Tech Raceway. I, I mean, it was wild to watch last night. So if you're just tuning in today, uh, last night, amazing runs. We watched Carson Ferguson up front. It was surgical what he was doing. Here comes Jeff Smith in the 70 car. Smith got bumped around a little bit last night. Hey, welcome, Facebook and YouTube viewers, to All Tech Raceway. We're oh, a handful of uh, miles west, uh, enough ways west that... Uh, you know, a few exits from Jacksonville, Florida. But this is a gorgeous racetrack. You're looking at Joseph Joyner now on camera. And if you're not already subscribing to HuntTheFront.tv, oh, my. And you can look everywhere on social media and see how hot this series is. Join the party. There are great drivers from all across the land, and they are putting on an awesome show everywhere they go. Ashton Winger on camera right now went from 16th to 4th last night. How about that for how quick he made it through the field when nobody else could do it? That was the most laps there. Dirt Draft features over 350 games from major dirt track series and events each year. Play unlimited games for just $5.99 or get two months free with a 12-month subscription. The 16, that's the Baird Machine, Sam Seawright. Yeah, I can't find half my stuff either, Joe. I, I just got here. <laughs> so. Uh, you're you're good no matter you're not late no matter what time you get here. That's the 14 right. is Will Harrington, by the way. You know him, right? Yeah, I do know him. There's the 57 is Zach Mitchell right there. Not a not the night that either one of those drivers was looking for last night. Will Harrington broke a drive shaft and a J bar early in the main event. There's Jeff Smith back with us tonight. Sick last night. And we talked about Joseph Joyner in the 10 car. There's the the 05, I believe that's Corey Roulette in the 05 car working his way around the speedway right now. Yeah, the Georgia driver, Corey Roulette. And yeah, the rest of the field you have described. Corey from Dahlonega, Georgia. Nice look at race car. Winger quickest right now, over 20 seconds, but still a decent lap. They were down in the 19s pretty uh, steady yesterday. You're going to have to improve on those times if you really want to be able to do what you want to do and get up towards the front, as in Hunt the Front. Joseph Joyner, second on the board. Ashton Winger, quickest at this point. Facebook, YouTube. If you're on YouTube. You probably have seen Joseph Joyner and... The rest of the gang from the Hunt the Front series that is uh, an internet sensation. Yeah, Joe. So, quick announcement, Lenny. I've got, a, I've got a wallet here just brought to me. This is very important because it's got all the identification in here, Social Security card as well. And it is for Shane Austin out of Thomasville, Georgia. Out of Thomasville, Georgia, if you are Shane or Austin Shane or Shane Austin... Wiseman, please come to the tower. Please come to the tower. We have your ID. We have to identify you first by your picture, and then you will get your driver's license and all those, uh, those important credentials that you need. Finishing third place last night on camera right now, Brandon Big Sexy over to the Muscle Factory machine. Great-looking race car. Nice, steady night. Um, yeah. Tickled the front a little bit, but not quite what he had at Talladega. But a nice run. Here's the five. Mark Widener finishing second last night with a line 
that looked like he was coloring out of every line you could imagine. There was no rhyme or reason, but it was awesome to watch. There is the Boo Machine, the double O of Josh Henry, Newport, Tennessee. Some people might think he is from, uh, you know, uh, Crossville, Tennessee, as uh, I mistakenly did last night, but uh, he is from Newport, Tennessee. There is Corey Hedgecock, the 23, finished second at Talladega, and okay yesterday. The 18 machine, Derek Dent from Appling, Georgia, and the 44 with us, Travis Carter out of Aldasta. Always knew when, uh, oh, the 18, a little slow out there for Derek. See what uh, what's cooking with him. Looks like he may have to have some uh, a visit by some of our track folk. As the Roswell drilling machine sits there on the track, and that'll put us a pause. You're watching on Facebook. Welcome to All Tech Raceway. No matter where you are in the country, a visit to All Tech Raceway will be a special memory for you on your trips to Florida, whether it's during speed weeks, during the summer, any time that they are racing here. This track welcomes you from all over the country, and we're so glad to have the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series here tonight. Last night, we were here, Carson Ferguson, well, in the race, the driver on camera right now, Brandon Overton, finished third. Another driver in this hot lap session, Mark Whitener, finished second. And uh, it was quite a show for 5000 to win. We're going to yeah. triple those dollars tonight. Yeah. Big and, money on the line. Oh, yeah. 35 drivers going after it. I like it. You did really good with that gold around your neck there and that money. <laughs> Where did the money go? I, I got it out of the trunk of my car. <laughs> I, I have had such fun. Joe Kelly uh, as a partner in, in crime, really, here uh, this weekend. And uh, the folks that get to hear him each week here at All Tech Raceway and the places that he visits across uh, the uh, southeast during the year, a pleasure to be here and an honor to uh, saddle up with Joe Kelly. Well, it's always fun to have the Hunter Front guys come into town here. We, we enjoy them when they bring the series. We enjoy them when they're here racing. So it's just been a lot of fun, Lenny, to, to kind of get an opportunity to work with you. We've got some great competition here tonight. We saw we saw some really different racing here last night. Guys coming in, going, and we saw some guys have some bad luck early on in the main event last night. Will Harrington being one of them. Now talk to him in the pits today. He felt like he had a very good car for last night. Let's see if he can rebound here tonight and put himself in position to pocket $15,000. Well, there's Corey Hedgecock, the BMF Eagle Racing Engines machine, and we're watching Overton now in the 76. Whitener was fastest till that 76, just uh, put a tool, but put a 28 to 9 on the board here in Dirt Draft Hot Laps. Dirt Draft Hot Laps going on. Our Mayan caution flag out to move group three out group four will be coming up there are five total groups then we will go into qualifying a couple of qualifying sessions an a and a b and then a couple of last chance events to uh follow uh after our heat races so 388 on track jackson heiss from ocala florida jackson was late to arrive yesterday because he had to go to school the 26 machine on track is adam Bedenbaugh from nearby Lake City, Capital Metal Supply 26. There is Cameron Weaver from Crossville, Tennessee. Had a great talk with Cameron and his father, Randy. And they're, they're still searching for the way around here. But, you know, that's what you're supposed to do as a young driver. Learn, learn what works for you. Absolutely. And I was very surprised to, to know that it was Randy's first visit here to All Tech Raceway. Really? Cameron has been here before. But Randy has never been here before, not not even to watch or to race. So that was interesting to me. And I believe last night they probably learned a lot. And you'll see a turnaround on the 116 tonight. Hey, that's the champion of the series, Josh Putnam, the defending series champion. They won it last year, the 2-1-2, our top star in 2023. And he would finish fourth at Talladega Short Track a couple of weeks ago, looking to rebound from not as good last night. But Putnam is a, a driver certainly capable to do that. You don't wear the champion's uh, crown without being a quality driver here in the Hunt Front Super Dirt Series. The 2-1-2. Josh Putnam, Lawrence, Alabama, 
And there is last night's winner of the 93 machine from Lincoln to North Carolina, Carson Ferguson. I mean, surgeons couldn't have been more exact than the way Carson was driving. It was robotic. It was fun to watch because it was on mark every time. Yeah, very calculating driver uh, behind the wheel there, the 93. And each and every move he made last night paid off dividends. $5,000 closed out the night for him. How much did he give you for the uh, inside tips on this track, Kelly? It's, he, I think he watched a lot of videos. He's raced, he's raced here before, and he's been good. But Lenny, just like you mentioned about Carson Ferguson, he is one of those drivers that is very – everything he does is precision. Yes. Even in his That's hot why lap, I call him the Rolex. Yeah, even in hot laps. It's calculated. Everything mm-hmm. he does is calculated. Yeah. His uh, cousin Chris is Fergie time, and I'm like, oh, you know, we've got precision time with right. the Rolex there. <laughs> How about Black Sunshine, Yang, Scott Bloomquist, Mooresburg, Tennessee. If there is a, uh, a driving legend around the southeast, I mean, this guy is certainly it in the dirt late model world and a fantastic guy. Yeah, kind of chat with him. It was fun to see him out with the fans. The big autograph session that Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series had. Scott was right there signing autographs with the fans and interacting with the fans. And uh, for, for a guy that's been on top of the game for quite so long to still reach to the fans, that was really cool. The 17, Brendan Smith, Dade City, Florida. He's got the Lancaster Speedway folks at Swankyville on that car. Met them Oh, back in some speed weeks, and uh, they became friends. Clay Harris, the shark from Jupiter, Florida. That is the sixth car, the 18. Mark Fleischer, nearby Uli, Florida. Is that really Jacksonville? It's it's north of Jacksonville. Oh, it is north of Jacksonville. Okay. And the 79, the only driver in the field that has raced the Snowball Derby as well as the Hunt the Front Series. The 79, the 63, the new driver of the Viper Motorsports machine, Tyler Clem. You've seen Tyler Clem win in a wing sprint car, you said, right? Or he did win in a wing sprint car. I've seen Tyler Clem win in a spec late model sprint car, non-wing sprint car. Um... Probably a micro sprint, a modified, and a crate light model. I've never seen him. I've seen him qualify for a Lucas Oil race at Bubba Raceway Park, but he, the kid can drive anything. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's all we hear outside of the state of Florida about him, and it's neat to get to see him. And, and the rest of the world will see him. He is a part of the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series loyalty division drivers, so he will be participating plan is to do uh, all the tracks and the shark clay harris quickest out of that bunch yeah, no surprise no, no. Clay, clay had some had had a just had a tough break last night in early in competition speaking of our schedule for those of you tuning in on facebook and youtube april 27th will be up at smoky mountain speedway fifteen thousand dollars it's right by the knoxville tennessee airport great place and then may 3rd and 4th a double header in the carolinas We'll start out in Elkin, North Carolina, right off of Interstate 77. Ultimate Motorsports at RV Park for $10,000 on a Friday. Then Saturday, down to Lancaster, South Carolina, just south of Charlotte for a big $20,000 to win. And then later on in the month, the 17th and 18th of May, we're out in Why Not Not Speedway, Why Not Mississippi, Meridian, Mississippi area, $5,000 on Friday, $15,000 on Saturday. And we'll cap off the month of May with the first of two days at Swainsboro Raceway, May 31st, for $5,000 on a Friday, and then the big one on Saturday. So make your plans if you are anywhere in those areas. We'd love to have you come out and see a race. The best place to see the HuntTheFront.tv is from your phone while you're sitting in the grandstands because <laughs> it gives you replays, it gives you all of that, but there is nothing like experiencing a track like All Tech Speedway and being a, or Raceway and being able to be here, Swainsboro Raceway, all the tracks on the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Car Series are places that you would enjoy going. We want you to experience the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series in person and to tune us in each and every race, whether you can be there or not, on the HuntFront.tv. Right now on your screen, we're watching the Alltech Raceway Pure Stops. John Carey on the track, the 08. And down the back straightaway there looks like Jamie Carter. There's the 11 of Quinton Steedley in the 11 car. 
Witten, a High Springs, Florida native. Hot laps underway here for the Pure Stock Division. Still got her eyes on Quentin Steedley there, car number 11. Works his way around the speedway. John Carey right now with the fastest lap, and we've got a caution on the speedway. Looks like the 31 of Joseph Tedesco. We'll bring out the caution. A lot of great racing here with the Pure Soft Division. Get to see him here tonight. We had a good street stock race last night. There's the 25. Patrick Thomas. The Thriller. There's that 09. That's going to do it for that first group of Pure Stocks. The All Tech Raceway Pure Stock Division actually races weekly for points. Tonight is a points race. You're joining us here on HuntTheFront.tv or in the grandstands. We've got a, last year we had a heated points battle between our teams and Kevin Durden, longtime racer in this area. Everybody knows him here and in surrounding areas. And those that are watching at home probably have heard the name as well. Multi-time track champion here. Been racing about 39 years, so... It's pretty tough to beat him when he shows up. There's the 74 of Ray Wheeler. Ray out of Alachua, Florida. It's been a while since we've seen Ray at the track. Maybe a late entry or two here tonight. Good field of cars here tonight for the second annual Southbound Throwdown. There's the five of Blake Clouser. Nice looking car for Blake. Works around the 74 of Wheeler. And caution flag is on the speedway. Blake Clouser in that five car. There's the 74 of Ray Wheeler. Looks like all the tires are up. Not sure what happened there. First time I've seen Ray here at the track in a while, folks. Who's that on the four-wheeler? That is Mike Cole. Mike is usually in the flag stand this weekend, uh, just kind of sharing some duties around the speedway. Are very versatile. He does a lot, lot for the racetrack. Uh, electrician by day, and <laughs> you might find him fixing lights or something <laughs> like that around here. Uh, I, I think uh, I ran into him over by the refreshment stand. Yeah, that's Mike Cole. Good guy. Good guy. You know, uh, I was hanging out because there is the uh, funnel cakes. Strawberry, caramel, chocolate. You can get all the flavors for free on top of your funnel cake here for just five bucks. That's not a bad price. No. No. That funnel cake was pretty good last night. I yeah, you it. got to eat yours. I came up, and um, luckily, though, somebody, uh, you know, I ate mine afterwards. Yeah. I didn't eat the whole thing. I just, it was a little late at night for me, but yeah. It was nice to uh, have it delivered. We had actually had DoorDash here last we night. Di we did. We did. There's the 82 of uh, Shane Taylor. He's out of Trenton, Florida. Shane, one of the longtime competitors here, has won on asphalt at this very speedway and dirt. So for our viewers that typically watch Super Late Model Racing, the Hunt Front Super Dirt Late Model Series, what are these cars mechanically? So they're basically a Chevrolet Performance 602 underneath the hood for the majority of the field. A stock Chevrolet rear end or, or a Ford 9-inch in there. They're, they're not as advanced with the suspension as what we watched last night with the street stock division. Um, Does have, anybody race both street stock yes, and this? Yes, okay. we do have multiple drivers that bounce back and forth. They don't use the same cars, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, they bounce back and forth. A lot of these guys, Shane Taylor, the 82, he has multiple cars. Some nights you might find him out here. Driving a late model. Other nights, it's a street stock, or his brother's driving a street stock. There may be five or six cars in that racing stable, the Taylor Trailer Stable, and they've been racing here at Alltech Raceway. God, I don't, I don't know how long. And they, they've won races here on asphalt, like I said, on dirt. A little history about Alltech Raceway, Lenny. Columbia Motorsports Park was that its original name? It is, and 
Bo Dix and T.C. Horton built the track. Started in 1971. By 72, they were ready to open for competition. They raced on dirt here until 1986 when the track went to asphalt. It remained asphalt until 2015 when Wendell Durrance and partners got a hold of the facility, milled all the asphalt off the track, used it for the driveway outside, and put the gumbo on the track. So that's kind of a little history. Wow. So race, all right? pro series would have ran all, Jody all Ridley, yes. Jeff Purvis Absolutely. when he was running pavement. If you look up on the wall here, you see right there? Uh-huh. What's oh, uh, looks like Wayne Anderson. Wayne Anderson. As a highly a speedway guy, yeah. uh, his look father, Dick time. Anderson. Look at the lap time there. It's been uh, there since 16.532. then. 16.532? Yes. And That's he is the super late model track record holder here yes. Yes. from uh, 06. Like, yep, 2006. I mean, so. Anderson boys, they're tough. They're tough, yeah. Tough on dirt. It was. We have the Crown Vic division on the track right now, getting some hot laps in. Car number 77 of Ty Ottinger making his way down the back straight away. He's out of Cross City, Florida. There is the defending Crown Vic champion here at Alltech Raceway, the 07 of Chase Biedenbaugh. Uh, as we have a car around in turn number four. Looks like that is the 181 machine. And actually, we do not have that car on our roster here, so it must be a late entry there out of that 181. Looks like he is showing up on your screen there. So we'll get him back under green. Car number 72 on your screen now. So look at the police lights on top of the car there. That is... Mason Biedenbaugh in the 72, 28 right behind him there. As we are back underway. Great field of Crown Vicks here tonight, All Tech Raceway. I believe we have about 18 signed in. Actually, we're up to 19 entries in total for your Crown Vicks. And that is an excellent, oh, it's Ty Ottinger has a moment on the back straightaway. And he's able to keep it going there. But uh, this is the division we started here at All Tech Raceway about two years ago or so as another one spins in turn two. Um, it was really hard at first to kind of get a healthy car count here. We started off some nice four or five cars. But over the course of the 2023 season, the class really took off. And as you see here tonight, we have 19 cars in total. So that is excellent. Uh, these cars completely stock. Basically, you just get them right off the highway, take the interior out, put a cage and a seat in, and you're ready to go. Uh, it's a great affordable class, a great way to get started in racing if you're looking to do that. Uh, you know, somewhere around four or $5,000, and you can be right out here racing with these guys at All Tech Raceway. As we continue to look at Chase Biedenbaugh making his way off turn two and down the back straight away. Uh, one of the top guys here in this division, you'll see a couple more in our later on tonight. We have actually have a whole family of drivers, uh, father and two sons. Pretty hard to beat here at All Tech Raceway, but this checker flag is going to fly for the Crown Vicks. It looks like Daniel Starner. Oh, as I say that, Chase Biedenbaugh goes to the top of the board. So Chase Biedenbaugh to nobody surprised here in the grandstands, top of the boards. We have a couple more lined up in staging, so it looks like we are going to get two groups of hot laps for these guys. Once again, great car count here for the Crown Vicks, and they put on one heck of a show. You're going to see that later on tonight as we close things out. And you see our next group making their way onto the racetrack. And you'll get to see that uh, 
trio of father and two sons, the Collins family, they have putting they have been putting on a tear in this division. Uh, Chase Collins in the twenty four car. Now it depends on the night, which which Collins is in either the twelve or the one twenty five. Uh, typically, we see Johnny, the father, in the twelve car. We'll see if that's the case here tonight. No, he's in the one twenty five. So they they change it up on us. Uh, Johnny Collins in the one twenty five. So that means the youngest of the three, Brody Collins, is going to be in car number 12 and I could tell you right now any of these three could win the race all three of them are right there together got the 14 car mixed in there as well that is Billy Martin making his way up from Ocala Florida car number 28 out there that is Blake Biedenbaugh out of Lake City the three Collins in the race three Biedenbaugh's in the race as well there's a good look at that 14 car. Billy Martin. 12 of Brody Collins right there. Uh, his father, Johnny, who's in the 125, an established racer in the late model ranks. Uh, Chase is... He has some experience in the late models and the UMP modifieds as well, but... Seem to have really found a home in these Crown Vicks. Just like the way they drive, you can really get up on the wheel and hammer down just about the entire race. A lot of fun driving these cars. As you will see here tonight, they always put on a great show. So uh, We're waiting for one of the cars in the first group, Ty Ottinger. It looks like he had some contact with the wall, so we had to get him towed off the track before we got this group under green. Looks like they've taken care of that, and the green flag is now out. So we'll get our second group of Crown Vic some hot laps here before we head off into super late model qualifying. There's a 125 Johnny Collins out of Jacksonville. He's going to try that high line here as Billy Martin keeps it down low. Oh, and it looks like a little bit of miscommunication there. Uh, Martin must not have realized Collins was on his outside. Now Johnny's going to just try to get on around Billy Martin there, and he does so as the white flag flies. Chase Collins in the 24 goes to the top of the board with a 26.049. That's about three-tenths quicker than second place Chase Biedenbaugh. Brody Collins there making his way through turns three and four. They're going to see the checkered flag this time to close out hot laps. Brody Collins able to jump up to second. And now Johnny Collins goes to the top of the board. So the father showing the two, two sons how it's done. 25-80 for Johnny Collins. So there you see on your board or on the scoreboard there. Collins, one, two, three, to close out hot laps for the Crown Vicks. So we're going to get the Crown Vicks off the track. Uh, we're going to send it back over to Lenny, and he's going to make the call for Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series qualifying. Well, Austin, nice job there, and looking forward to hearing you for years to come on Motorsports Announcing. PAs and radio TV and all the rest of the stuff. But, folks, hang on. Wherever you are, go to battle stations. We're going to have three cars on the track at once. We did two cars last night. Want to see if we can accelerate things even more tonight and be able to bring three Super Dirt Late Model cars out onto the track at once. Scheduled to come out will be Austin Kilpatrick, Kurt Patrick, Chris Ferguson, Bo Slay. They should be the first three cars that you will be seeing. And as uh, soon as the 71 gets clear, we should be going to that. A big night here at Alltech Raceway for all of us in the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series and the Hunt the Front TV. Great evening. The day's been just beautiful. 
My Race Pass, all day information, all you need to know right in the palm of your hand. How do you think we get all this cool information? My Race Pass, Ben Shelton and all of them do such a great job. Jack Kofer, who is here on property for My Race Pass, another one of those exciting young stars of racing and racing's future. Download the My Race Pass app in the Google Play or the App Store. My Race Pass, it is a must for the palm of your hand. Appreciate My Race Pass for all they do for racing. This is My Race Pass time trials coming up. Here we go. First car should be wheeling his way out onto the racetrack. Austin Kilpatrick on the track. It is an AK chassis with Clemens engine. Famicles. Man, Bob Minios along with the Drive Shaft Shop in Salisbury, North Carolina. Sponsors on this AK late model. Next step on the racetrack. Chris Ferguson, Mount Holly, North Carolina, zero chassis, Clemens engine, live oak dentistry. Trayus Portland's and Schaefer Oil supporting Fergie. And the third car on the track. The two cars. We watch Ferguson a little drift out to the far outside line. He charges towards the finish of the white flag. Next up, we'll be seeing Bo Slay from Milton, Florida. It's a Longhorn with Jay Dickens for power. Randy Polk Holmes, three trade consultants, and Jason McCullers Properties on the sides of that car, helping him get down the road. Bo Slay, the two car, stomping on it down the straightaway. Kirkpatrick, quickest, Slay, and Ferguson. But Ferguson jumps up to the top of the board, a 20.854. Or the Mount Holly driver of the Zero Chassis. Next up, should be seeing another trio of cars here in our My Race Pass time trials. That is the 25 from Zebulon, Georgia. It's Capital Race Car with Clemens Power, Super K Express, Panama City Cycles on the side of the car, helping Shane get it done. The veteran from Zebulon, Georgia, powering out of the corner. Next up, we go from a veteran to the future. Trey Mills, the 14 junior, a black diamond Clemens by H&D, Boswell Oil, Fitz Factory, Inc., Integra Shocks on the support call for him. And then Tyler Millwood, 31 machine, the rocket with Durham Power and Penske Shocks, machine construction, tarpon solutions on that race car, the 31. Down into the corner. Fergie still fastest. We'll see if that changes. Mills right up with him now. Trey Mills into second in our My Race Pass time trials. See if the former track champion here at Alltech Raceway. Look at that smooth line. Look at that. Oh, man, that was cool. Trey Mills. If it ain't the fastest, it should have been. It was definitely the neatest slap. It was the fastest. My God, that kid got it done. A 24-1-5. The future is now. The Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series. All Tech Raceway. We got three more of them coming out. Next up on the track, the 51. Tootin on the track, Chad Tootin. It's a rocket. XR1, H&R Power Plant, Boswell Oil, VP Fuels, m and Striping, and Steel Coating. On the side of that machine, looking good. Followed by the veteran, Jeff Smith. The Longhorn by WP with Clemens Power. Orange towing from Gastonia, North Carolina. Z1 Enterprises and Superior Pools of South Carolina. Making sure that his dip into the water is always just right. And on the track with those two. The 14, a problem, a problem for Will Harrington. Darn it, once again. This kid is just snake bit here. And look at that. He's got all kinds of damage. That, that's not going to fix it. Oh, and, oh, look at Smith. Oh, my gosh, he's up against the wall. Wow. Smith almost out of the park. Holy Toledo. That was right back to the warning track and then some, Joe. Yeah, that was that's a tough break for Mr. Smith. 
came into this weekend just a little bit sick under the weather and looks like uh hey joe i think they got a replay in the yeah, truck there I the hunt so. the front dot tv guys uh we got a replay look at here goes smith pass start finish into the corner dude what what do you do here i just got in really hot and you can see the car Ooh. tripped up a little bit jumps the cushion a little bit there and as you come out of two he makes a little contact here the car hits wall he hits the wall front of the car kind of turns towards the car you see the nose right there dig it in ever so slightly and yeah, he's, we'll, we'll so he, he's not real right good on that lap well, and trying to make it better. Comes out of four, gets the tail tapping. It looked okay coming out of the corner, but here did. we go. And, and that last lap by, you know, he was flirting with the wall, and here's what happens this time. He comes in hot. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, He got up there the lap before, and he kind of felt built up his confidence yeah. a little bit. He did tag the wall just a little bit. If it was dark, we would have saw sparks. But, you know, that second lap kind of bit him. Yeah, uh, we would have saw Sparks, and he's probably seeing stars. That yeah, was a yeah. big womp. Well, and he came in sick this weekend, yeah. and, that, and that's the hard thing for Jeff is that he, he tried to make the race. He came in, yeah. supported the series, and tough break. Absolutely. Two nights in a row. And, and these, you know, the drivers are warriors. Yeah. They, they put that helmet on, and they're there to do business. But, you know, there's times when you're just not who you should be. I, I see Lenny. I literally could call that. With my eyes closed uh -huh. here at all, yeah. Tech oh yeah, because it happens. It, that is a very tricky part of the racetrack, and during qualifying, a lot of horsepower. That's what's so special about you being here with us tonight. We, You're adding things that no traveling announcer, unless they've been here fifty zillion times, could know. I, like you, you literally do. can see the first lap. He built up his uh -huh. confidence up there, and there was a little. He was it. He was just about. He was just about wrecked on the first lap, but built up the confidence. Used that. There's, there's this much cushion. What I'm, yeah. I'm showing you is six mi six inches for those in the grandstands or watching at home on HuntTheFront.tv. There's literally six inches up there. And once you once you cross that line, that's what happened to Will Harrington last night. It's the typical, when they come to Alltech, they call it the crash kit. And here's what it is. Oh, yeah. It's the J-bar and the drive shaft. And it you better usually, bring a couple of them with you. It usually happens right there in turn yeah. number two. Well, uh, you know. Jeff, Jeff got bumped around a little bit in the feature last night um, and was you know, trying to put a good spin on uh, the possibilities for tonight, but a lot there, and it is his son, and he's also uh, kind of coexisting with the Carson Ferguson team, those two guys sharing a lot. Harrington, another car with a lot of work to do, and a, a driver certainly got to be bummed out about that. You know, Will's been a, Will's been a friend of mine for – for quite some time, and I'm just, it's tough to see that. We'll go back to qualifying here, Lenny. Car number 51, that's Chad Tootin. The Boswell Oil, yeah. car number 51, and Chad knows his way around All Tech Raceway. It's still slippery out there. It, still early. It, it is. We, we started with three cars, and now we're, we're, we're with, with Chad, who's good, but we had three, and now we're at one. Yeah. So he already put a uh, 21.046 on the board. Chad may just want to bring this one in and run it out. So Trey Mills, our quick qualifier, take a look at that. Now, that is the fastest super late model driver in the business right now here at Alltech. He is currently the My Race Pass time trials leader, and he had to go to school yesterday and couldn't be here on time. Absolutely. So how cool is that? How Is he 15 now? Uh, he's like... I think he's got a driver's license. I think he's six. Oh. He might be 15. Yeah, because in Florida, I think you can yeah. get one. Well, no, I think he is 15. I don't think he has his license yet. But a cool shot that was. No, and yeah. here's what's cool about that. Shane Clanton in Shane the background. Clanton in the back. Yeah. You see, you see the young driver uh -huh. and, and no. the, you know, <laughs> the, the elder driver. Yes. You know, cool yep. picture right there. Well, you, you saw the future yes. as well as our history in yeah. dirt late Ronald racing. Well, cars getting ready to come out. You see the 57 of Zach Mitchell just on the other side of that equipment. So, folks, if you've been tuning in here to the Hunt the Front TV and the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series from All Tech Raceway, we are done with our live look in brought to you by Dirt Draft. Thank you for viewing us. Now's the time to go and get your subscription. We'll be up at Smoky Mountain Speedway, we'll be at Ultimate. 
Motorsports in RV Park, Lancaster Speedway. We are going to a race and race and race. You're going to love it. Your subscription 